What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a video tutorial on how I make my YouTube thumbnails. Here are some of the thumbnails that I have created before for my previous videos. I am not a professional at Adobe or all those very professional editing programs. So this video will show you guys the easiest, the most friendliest way to make a YouTube thumbnail. And up here is my newest channel art. I will also do a video tutorial on how to make YouTube channel art. So do stay tuned for that. But before anything, huge shout out to Kanye West. He hooked it up with the pair of Yeezy 3s. Jay-Z is a size 9, people. And I am a size 8. Down there, Ralph McFly, it's your boy. And the first online site we will be using is pick monkey it is absolutely free absolutely user friendly for beginners and what you want to do is hit your design and hit the custom canvas and what you want to do is change your dimension to 1280 by 720 because that is the YouTube thumbnail dimensions and if you guys are wondering how I know that that is because I am a wizard and you guys just have to trust me on it and BAM what I like to do for my thumbnails is I like to snapshot a photo from the video that I am currently uploading for example we are uploading the Givenchy Tyson high sneakers what you want to do is open that video up on VLC because it has this feature where you can snapshot a still from the footage and that is exactly what we will be doing. What you want to do is try to find the catchiest photo that you can capture. Right there looks perfect, looks like a great thumbnail. So I'm going to hit video, snapshot, boom, it'll save directly to your desktop easy as ABC. And what you want to do is open it on PicMonkey, my computer and it should be right there under desktop, boom. Now your photo is in that YouTube thumbnail size, and if you go to the left side, you have all your editing tools to enhance and edit your photo. What I like to do is, I like to go to exposure and up in the lightness, the brightness of the photo. I want it to pop and be as eye-catching as possible. Put the highlights up as well to give it more of that look. And what I also like to do is I like to saturate the photo. When you saturate a photo, what this does is it basically brightens up all the, the heavy colors in your photo. I like to do this because it, again, it helps the photo pop more. Next step is adding text to your thumbnail, letting the viewers know what your video is about. And what I love most about PicMonkey is you can use your own downloaded fonts. These are the fonts that I have been using heavy. We will use the streets to give it more of that urban, that, that steez, that style, that funk. You know what I mean? And there you go, Givenchy. You can change the size, change it around, move it around. And there it is. Bump that thing up, Givenchy. You can even twist it, twirl it, whatever you want to do. It is on your own. My title for this thumbnail will be Givenchy Tyson High Review. What you want to do is you want to put it very visible as a thumbnail, but then you don't also want to take too much away from the photo because that is the that is what will grab the attention of the viewer. And under text, you have your color schemes, and there you go. Just move it around and you will get all the colors in the rainbow. You can also change the fade feature on your text and you can move that around. You can also use the paint where you can catch any color from the photo and use it as the color of the font. Real dope feature in my opinion. And there it is done. Once you are done with that, you wanna to go to that sparkly icon on the left side. And what I like to do is I like to look for the HDR feature. What this does is it sharpens my photo. There it is, HDR. I don't want it too sharpened, that's a little too wild, so I want to dumb that down very slow, very low, down to 3%, boom, and there you have it. And that is pretty much it, you're done. All you have to do is save it, put it on your desktop, change it on your thumbnail, and voila. And if you found PicMonkey to still be a little difficult, let's go to our second site, which is Pixlr.com, and oh my god, that manila internet. <laughs> Let's hit Pixlr Express, launch web app. Oh my god, look how slow Manila internet is. Jesus. 
but anyways what you want to do is browse again hit that snapshot that you took earlier this is honestly the easiest thing ever this is like elementary school level so this is super easy hit adjustments color like i said earlier saturate it this is just pressing buttons man seriously easiest thing ever and what you want to do what i like to do is i like to put the vibrance up make it real nice and vibrant hit that contrast to give it more of that glow or that low whatever you want to call it type what i like to use is novelty as you guys seen in most of my thumbnails i use plasma drip give it more of that bin trill kind of style kind of font i don't know but there you have it put Givenchy on there put your title move it around you can do whatever it's honestly the easiest thing ever it's literally just clicking same exact features as pick monkey as well you have your colors your fading and stuff like that you can change it around right there and as soon as you are done with your text what I like to do is go to sharpen I like to sharpen this is the same thing as the HDR and once you're done you are pretty pretty good just change the name save it to your computer and that is it it is honestly the easiest thing ever I hope this tutorial helped you guys. I will do a video tutorial on the channel art for YouTube. So do stay tuned for that. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.